This is a delicate ecosystem, and it's held together by a shared history and love. I have every intention of turning this into a respectable place of business. Eventually. Greetings, so if this may concern, Christian Aguilar here back with another series review. And in today's series review, I'm going to be reviewing the new FX slash Hulu original called The Bear. The series stars Jeremy Allen White, Eben Moss Barach, Ayo Edabiri, and Abby Elliott. Set in Chicago, the series is about a young prestigious chef who finds himself going from the fine dining world to returning back to Chicago to run his family's sandwich shop, where he leads a ragtag group of workers while dealing with the passing of his brother. So I remember seeing a trailer for this series uh, like about a month or two ago, and I was pretty excited because my parents and I have watched Shameless not since the beginning, but we caught on to it around probably season six five or six and then we started watching from the beginning and then we caught on to it and we ended up finishing it in all of its 11 season glory so to see lip from that series jeremy allen white come over and have a new series on fx it's really cool to see and it's still on its first season there's only eight episodes so far and it's pretty entertaining you know it's pretty good i would say dedicate your time to it the episodes aren't crazy long they're not like an hour and something they're they're a good runtime for a new set of characters right like whenever we're returning to old characters in big you know properties like star wars or marvel we would want like an hour or something long you know episodes but when it's like a new cast of characters and we're getting to know them for it to be around like 30 minutes 40 minutes that's a good runtime you know that's a good length for each episode so it doesn't feel too long and it leaves you it leaves you wanting more it leaves you wanting to go into the next uh, episode to see where this group of characters goes next that's one thing i adore about this series is the characters there's a lot of good side characters we have an interesting main character right and if you're a fan of shameless or if you're a fan of the actor himself you already are intrigued to go and watch this series so to not only have him as an interesting character but the surrounding cast to be interesting is always a bonus man because i can see storylines spanning for seasons with all these different characters and it's going to be interesting to see where they go you know, moving forward, and I had that little inkling each episode. As I got to around, like, episode three, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty invested in these characters. I want to see if they're going to grow or if they're going to, you know, like, diminish each other. Like, are they going to blossom or are they going to, you know, rot and fall off and they're going to, you know, go off their separate ways? It's very interesting to see all their dynamics play out, especially with the two main cousins. They both lost a relative, which is uh, the main character's older brother. And it's not like he lost him to an accident, he lost him to suicide. So there was hardly any notes or any last words left. So they're really baffled and taken aback by that whole event, right? And they're kind of like reconnecting and learning how to pick up the pieces and how to move forward you know, together. And that's a cool dynamic to see play out and see that grow over throughout the season. Because when it starts, very rocky. And at the end, still pretty rocky, but it's way more solid than it was in the beginning. And that's just awesome to see play out in just an eight-episode arc. And I also love how they're able to capture the anxiety that runs in chefs and anyone that works in a kitchen. Like, the kitchen, you think, oh, I, I know how to cook. It's It's therapeutic. Sure, at times it is. But there's also those rushes. There's also times where you're not communicating with people or, or people just aren't on the same page for whatever reason. And this show knows how to express that, knows how to showcase that. And I, and I like that, especially in episode seven, I believe it was. Episode seven, I think from beginning to end, the majority of it is all just in the kitchen. And that's pretty cool. I think it's all just the hecticness of, of them in the kitchen the following day after reading a critic's review. And so that whole episode really is anxiety feel from beginning to end it feels like it feels like uncut gems a little bit you know but it feels condensed into an episode everyone is just cranked up to 11 and everyone's shouting at the top of their lungs and 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 every single performance in this show solid really really solid and especially in that episode seven when everyone's at everyone's shouting at each other everyone's at each at each other's throats and while also being in their own little world Everyone gives a stellar performance, you know, during that whole sequence. It, it, it was really well played out. And for the most part, that's what made me enjoy this show. You know, I could see how it would be to be in the chef's shoes and then the, for them to explore the drug use 
that the chefs go through is also a cool aspect that this show has, and I hope that they continue that into a next season, if there is going to be a next season. The cinematography is good, but it's great when it comes to shooting the food. All the food sequences, all the cooking sequences are so well shot that it will make you hungry <laughs> while watching this. So don't watch this late at night, but I love how the food shot and just makes it look very cool and therapeutic and it looks like it was fun to shoot. So some of the worries I have when it comes to this show is a lot of it is due for me being an actual Chicago native. So being an actual Chicago native and watching this show, it's easy to see what parts are filmed in Chicago and what parts aren't really filmed in Chicago. I couldn't help but notice that the fire effects in the show look a little cheap. They look a little fake, like you can clearly tell that that's a fake digital fire in front of them, right? And I couldn't help but knock the show for that because I, I, I get the show has a budget, you know, and I understand them not having an actual live fire on set when they were actually shooting, you know, for safety reasons. But you can't help but notice that there was no actual fire there because one, the, the, the flame looks really fake and two, there's no smoke. You know, you would think that whenever you light a fire, there'll be smoke. There's just no smoke in here. Again, this is just like a little technical nitpick. If you don't notice that, that'll go right over your head, and that doesn't affect the story or the performances at all. It's just something I couldn't help but notice uh, when watching the series. But regardless of that, The Bear is a fun time. All eight episodes are strong. They tell a nice, cohesive story that, honestly, if The Bear isn't picked up for a second season, I can totally see this being a nice little mini miniseries you know a episode miniseries because by the end of this season don't feel like oh i gotta wait till next year you know because this this season ends pretty nicely it wraps itself up pretty nicely so if there isn't a season two this could be something you know on its own but if there is you obviously know where it could go next so with all that being said what do i give the bear fx is the bear um, I have to give it a solid 4 out of 5 Scars Guards. It's a pretty solid show so far. You'll laugh, you'll tear up a little bit, and overall, you'll have a good time with it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for reason to the end of it. Have you seen The Bear? Are you interested in, in checking it out? Let me know what you think of it down below. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. The rendered images show I co-host my good friends Tyler and Shannon. Link to the channel will be down below in the description. We'll go over all the latest movie news, updates, and trailers, so be sure to check that out. Hope you're all safe and out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.